Maybe you've heard of mobile operators paying billions of dollars to win Spectrum at auction. But what makes Spectrum so valuable? And what the is Spectrum anyway? Spectrum refers to the range of radio frequencies used for mobile communication, and it's the most important asset a mobile operator can have. Low band spectrum operates below 1 gigahertz. It allows operators to build out coverage at lower cost, since lower frequencies travel further and reduce the number of cell sites required to cover an area. Unfortunately, low bands are crowded and don't offer much bandwidth to carriers. We're talking chunks of 2 to 5 megahertz. Mid-band spectrum operates between 1 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz and is often referred to as sub-6G. C-band, no that's not the name of a four-piece that went down with the Titanic, sits between the two Wi-Fi bands at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and is particularly interesting for operators since there's enough spectrum available to get a sizable chunk of frequency while also being able to match closely with existing 3G and 4G coverage. That's important because if operators can reuse existing cell sites, 5G deployment can be considerably cheaper, easier, and most importantly, faster. Combined, low band and mid band create that dynamic duo that allows operators to balance between coverage and capacity based on a variety of factors, including price, availability, geography, density, and demand. For example, Deploying 5G at 2.6 GHz is considerably easier if an operator already has 3G or 4G deployed at a similar frequency. Shifting to 3.5 GHz or C-band could mean a redesign if cell sites were originally deployed assuming a larger cell radius than what 3.5 GHz could support. High band frequencies introduced in 5G operate above 24 GHz and offer huge amounts of frequency for use, but only at short distances. Frequencies in this band are often called millimeter wave due to the fact that their wavelengths, that is the distance between two consecutive peaks of the same wave, is between 1 and 10 millimeters. High band spectrum is available in chunks of bandwidth from 50 megahertz to 400 megahertz. And to put this in perspective, that's 20 times more than mid band and a whopping 100 times more than low band. Considering many operators prior to 5G had at most 100 megahertz in total, millimeter wave means operators can double or even quadruple their bandwidth. But there's a catch. For practical deployments, millimeter wave is line of sight, meaning you need to be able to see the antenna to get a signal. Millimeter wave won't be able to leverage existing macro sites and instead will need to be deployed even closer to the user on lampposts and bus stops and street signs. It's great for hotspots like stadiums and conference centers and dense street corners, but its signals can't reliably penetrate walls. And like an elderly grandpa, might even tap out just trying to reach the mailbox. Low, mid, and high band spectrum gives operators the tools to trade off between coverage and capacity and meet the requirements of 4K and 8K video, virtual and augmented reality, machine vision, and industrial IoT. So is Spectrum worth all that money? Three billion smartphone users and a digital economy where tens of trillions of dollars would say, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Did you send that presentation? Are you on Wi-Fi or are you on 5G? Oh, okay, I got it, I got it.